Have you ever wondered how things like computers or any handheld consumer electronics seem to think on their own? How about the time when you push the power button on your remote and the TV turns on? Or have you ever been curious how you can talk to somebody else half the world away using only a teeny tiny magical device called a phone? All these stuffs like making things smart, controlling something at a distance, or communicating wirelessly are in the realms of electronics engineering. The history and evolution of electronics engineering begins with the history of electrical engineering. Yes, electronics engineering is a subfield of electrical engineering that grew to be a field on its own right. Discussing the history of electrical engineering, however, is a subject to another story. For this video will be about electronics engineering. The history of electronics can be connected with the history of the semiconductor. A semiconductor, by the way, is a material that has both conducting and insulating properties, hence the name semiconductor, and is being used to make transistors. The birth of semiconductor can be traced back to the invention of the rectifier or the AC to DC converter back in 1874. Decades later, in 1947, John Bardeen and Walter Britton of Bell Laboratories invented the point contact transistor. As mentioned before, semiconductors are used to make transistors. These transistors in turn are used to make computer chips and integrated circuits. But wait, what would be the history of electronics engineering without talking about computers? In 1946, the University of Pennsylvania in the U.S. built a computer using vacuum tubes. The computer was so large that it occupied the entire building, consumed huge amounts of energy, and produced a lot of heat. Lots of heat. Later, the innovative transistor computer was developed. And since then, computers have grown by leaps and bounds. The invention and development of transistors was so significant in the history of electronics engineering that Shockley, Bardeen, and Bratton jointly won the Nobel Prize in Physics back in 1956 for inventing the transistor. In 1959, Jack Kilby and Robert Noyce invented the bipolar integrated circuit. This invention had a major impact on the history of electronics engineering and it marked the dawn of the integrated circuit era. In 1958, Texas Instruments developed the electronics desktop calculator using IC. In 1970, LSI Corporation developed the large-scale integrated circuit. In 1980, the large-scale integrated circuit was further developed into the very large-scale integrated circuit. VLSI contains more than 10 million transistors in a single chip. As IC progresses towards high performance and multiple functions, its field of application is expanding broadly and so does the field of electronics engineering. 